Okay, let's see if I can make this uh, as simple as possible. Um, here I've got, um, if I look at uh, utilities options, um, I've got a custom page width in this web design page, 1024 wide by 580 high. Um, and I don't like the page shadow showing, so I've unchecked that and I click OK and apply, and that's, that's fine. The next thing we've got to do is to look at the um, web properties. And there's two things here. Um, so if we go into uh, website, web export options, I need it to be a super site. So I've select this super site and it's got a page transition I've selected crossfade and it's a, a one second transition time okay uh, the other thing is in the head I've got this script that Siren supplied which allows the page to be shown for so many seconds then switches to the next page automatically writes another six seconds and then does the same again to the third or as many pages as you've got in your slider uh, and that's set by this bit in the square brackets you set that i'll set that to 10. Um, just for want of argument but okay apply i'll supply that code Right, then we have various things on top of these photographs. Uh, this is um, just some text and it's got web, web animation applied to it. Um, it's a reveal animation. It's fading in in two and a half, one and a half, two and a half seconds, isn't it? With a delay of one second. Similarly, got this button here which fades in does a rubber band in one second with a one second delay okay and I could uh, and that's click to go to visit um, visit Zara's site um, one thing I might have to do about that uh, just let me have a look at the link Sorry, it was off the screen. Uh, with a link, I would say new window or tab, probably best or if the same window, but the top. Um, so we'll put same window up top, apply. So we've got that. Then on this um, second page, got, again, got this text. And if I look for web animation, computer's running very slow. It's got a flip in vertically taking three two seconds of the delay of one second. I've also got this line here which fades in down with two and a half seconds and a two second delay. And finally on the third on the third one I've got this text that slides in from the right with a speed of one and a half seconds and a delay of one second and the final one on this one is this is an animated gif it slides in from the left um, at that speed so we can select that pick that and we'll give that a test um, so you go run all that's that text come in and this button comes in and if I click on that button I don't know it's going to take me an hour's name uh, so it links in to the top um, as this is eventually going to go in an iframe um, I'm not 
100% sure of whether we should use top or get it to open a new window altogether. Uh, um, so I'll try that later on. So everything seems to be working fine there. It comes in. Text comes in down here. And the animated GIF comes in over there. So that's quite an easy thing to make. Um, just close that down and go File, Export Website, and I call this Slider One. Normally you call it Index, but I don't want I want it to be in the same folder as another, uh, as another one, which is going to be called Index. So I'll just call this Slider One, and it's there. I'll hit Export. I've already done that once, so I'll replace it, so it's just there. And that's loaded. Okay, uh, now what I've done is create another page, uh, which would be your main website, which I've called Index. Uh, it's a web page, and it's 1024 by 2000 pixels, and all it has is a placeholder here, with some text or whatever else would be in your main site. Um, this placeholder is just if I uh, no, I want it up here, don't I? No, it's over here. It's just got in the HTML replace with HTML code in the HTML code on the body, and it just says iframe source equals slider hyphen one htm which is this slider um, and of course it's, because it's a super site there's only one page anyway um, it's got a width of 1024 and a height of 580 which matches the um, uh, slider pages no scrolling no frame border no margin height no margin width and the end of iframe okay just apply that then if we go into, um, zoomed in to 75% here, if we go into preview, web page comes up with a slider and the rest of the website, wherever you want in there, the slider is automatically loading into that iframe. I've just dropped it down a bit, probably too much, but in that white margin, but everything works there well. Um, one final thing I wanted to check wasn't it was about the any button links that you have in the slider and I don't want if I don't I don't want to click this button and have it open inside the frame no it doesn't it's loads into the full page not into just the that part of the page that has the placeholder. Anyway, hope that's helped. This is Egg. All the best. Cheery bye.